when you start to learn, and this is many, many decades ago, but it's even more, it even became more true as time passed on. And when you start to learn the details of how life works, it's a shock. I mean, it's just incredible. And uh, it, it's very hard to explain it because it's so technical. It requires a lot of background. And one of the one of the things I try to do in the book, and I'm trying even more in another book that, that is that I'm working on is almost ready to, to come out. I'm working on the edits from the publisher at the moment. And what I try to do is convey some feel without going into too much technical detail, which would be impossible to follow, of the enormous chemical complexity that goes on in life that isn't seen anywhere outside of life it just doesn't exist anywhere else not not even close and then and you have to start to wonder well where how did all this come from where, where did you where did we get living cells and you know the, there is a standard answer to that which i accepted completely uh and that is evolution evolution is the you know, the central um, dogma, I guess you could say, the central theory of biology these days. And and I think that evolution is a, is a good theory for um, the diversity of life, but it's generally acknowledged that it cannot explain the, the, the beginnings of life, the origin of life. It can't explain the origins of these amazingly complex systems, which, which by the way, make any kind of machinery from an airplane to a factory look like child's play. 